Good morning once again as we gather. Today, we celebrate the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. We do so with humble and grateful and thankful and expectant hearts, knowing that God tells a story about transformation, about enrichment, by living with and for one another. And we gather today, even if we are separated, we gather to give thanks, to honor, to remember and partake. This is sacred space and holy time. As we prepare to partake, I'd like to take just a moment and highlight our closing hymn for today. It's by the Berkeley University Youth Symphony, and it's a flash mob presentation, which means that unexpectedly in a surprise kind of way in a public setting unknown to others around them something begins to percolate and happen in this case orchestra violins and cellos and basses and trumpets come together one by one in the middle of a mall in california and play gustav holtz's jupiter theme we know it as the hymn, O God Beyond All Praising. I can't watch this YouTube video, I confess, without weeping. And I hope that you find the time sometime this day or this week to watch it over and over again. Since it's an orchestra, it's without vocalists. And so I would like to simply read the lyrics as a prelude to our celebration of the sacrament. They are most powerful words. O oh God, beyond all praising, we worship you today and sing the love amazing that songs cannot repay. For we can only wonder at every gift you send at blessings without number and mercies without end. We lift our hearts before you and wait upon your word. We honor and adore you, our great and mighty Lord. Then hear, O gracious Savior, accept the love we bring that we who know your favor may serve you as our king and whether our tomorrows be filled with good or ill will triumph through our sorrows and rise to bless you still to marvel at your beauty and glory in your ways and make a joyful duty, our sacrifice of praise. People will come from east and west and north and south to make a sacrifice of praise at this your table, dear Lord and Savior. And you welcome all those who trust and believe in you to join, to stand with, to hold hands, around this table of your making. Let us pray. God of good word, we thank you for the gifts of this day. We thank you for your gracious nature, for your awe-inspiring creation, for your word that has traveled throughout time to always bring a startling and new path for us to follow. May we receive it with open hands and hearts and minds so that we can peaceably and joyfully share with others 
be it in pain or good or ill, because it does depend upon us to be your messengers of hope and good news. So take our lives as we lay them bare before you at this, your table of grace. Let us pray now the prayer your Son taught us, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. On the night of his arrest, our Lord and Savior took bread. And after giving thanks to God, he broke it and shared it with his friends, saying, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, and after giving thanks to God, he lifted it high and shared it with his friends, saying, This cup is the new covenant, filled with my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Drink ye all of it. So the feast has been made ready. Let us partake of the gifts of God. This is the bread of heaven, the body of Christ. May it be a blessing unto you. This is the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. May it bring life today and always. To marvel at your beauty, dear Lord and glory in your ways to make a joyful duty our sacrifice of praise. Let us pray. We thank you for these simple gifts of bread and juice that fill us with the powerful memory of your sacrificial gift and of our deep and abiding calling to be your peaceable people. May we, may we now and always live as your faithful children. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>